So, God is not open up the answer to this thing. Is anyone here today? I'm not talking about that members. Is there anyone here today whose eyes are open up to the truth? Let me see your hand. If anybody, anyone here, hallelujah, say, oh, hallelujah. This man and this woman, your eyes through the lesson study are being opened up to the eyes of the truth. For the Lord said in the prophet. The last, uh, I believe in the last prophet there, he said that the law, let us go up into the house of the Lord. For the Lord shall go for a of Zion, and many will not flow unto it. Mordecai, the last prophet tells us that the law will go forth out of Zion upon the top of the mountain and they will say, come and let us go up to the house of the Lord in worship for the Lord shall go forth in Zion and many will flow unto him. So the time has come that a true message will circulate and although the God to be saved, God will open your eyes to see the truth. And the faithful one in other fold is that the mention I have, but it's not with this book, but in true time. So God will bring all the people to the knowledge of the truth because of a wide way cause to turn. Here's what it is. What it is? So God has been opening our eyes of truth now. For we is us the eyes of the end of the world. Why we have to Amen. Praise the Lord. Again, I thank you all for your participation in the lesson. And so what I I gave out a list of 40 doctrine of beliefs of the church and also the lessons so those who are didn't get them this week just indicate so I can get the numbers for those who didn't get so you can get a copy because we'll be going well, one of the aim is while we study the quarterly we also are in the end of time and we want to ensure that we put a mix of the doctrines and the prophecies so that we can be kept abreast of where we are. Like now, we are in, if you look at Revelation 16, it tells you that the sun will be given great power. And if you notice how the kind of hot region, you know you don't guess it. The sun has got no power. And, and so we are in the prophetic times. And so we want to understand that we are nearing end of world. Christ coming is near. And so we have to, you see, unless we teach it, Pastor Bishop agree that I'm coming down to unless we teach it, we will have accountable for persons who talk, who probably think that we're at this beginning, when we are at the end. So we have to get down to the basics and, and, and bring us up to speed that when we study, Builds me, builds you. It keeps me in my toes. The word keeps us on our toes. So we know when we are slipping up. It's the same word that says, it pricks your spirit. When, when something comes up, it pricks your mind. And it's no, I can't get through this. So and when you are aware of where we are, you find that we are praying more. We spend less time fighting. We spend more time praying and seeking God. Because at any time, Look what happened in, in, in Bahamas. I mean, over 1,500 persons can't be found. Right? 52 coming from there. But 1,300 can't be found. But they're not coming from there. Is it the rapture? So, you see, where are the serious damages? It's not the rapture. And, and this same, this same period of time we're in, the hurricane weather 
challenge saying that there are some other Sí, 
Praise the Lord. Just want to ask, just feel welcome, feel free to worship her in liberty. All at this time, our pastor is coming to give our announcement in Jesus' name. Just a few announcements and reminders. Announcement one, it is now confirmed that the Thanksgiving service for Sister Beverly Dennis will be held on Thursday the 26th of September at 3 p.m. The Thanksgiving service for Sister Ben will be held on the 26th of September, which is a Thursday, and it will commence at 3 p.m. right here on the church ground. There will be there no burial because the body will be cremated. Amen? Amen? So we're asking every single member try your endeavor best to come and show your last respect. It is a working day, it is a school day. We have no control over that. That is a decision of the family. Therefore, we proceed. Amen? Yes, Mr. Thank you. The body will not be viewed, so there is no viewing of the body. The son said that his mother requested that no one should see her face when she departs this land. Sister Jacob just attested that, that it is correct. So therefore, we have no control over that. Amen? So, brethren, if you can attend, try your best. She is a member, so therefore it is uniform. Praise his name. So, bear this in mind, the 26th of this month, which is a Thursday, 3 p.m., right here, will be the Thanksgiving service for Sister Beverly Davis. Bishop said, no love class to go, no better rest, no summarizer. Amen? There is a command for one of our own. This sister, she always has a member, I should say, of the Amsterdam Assembly. But the command was given from the Lord that the church must take up three nights of tarrying service. And after the three nights, the church will go to her home for a special service. We have decided to start the tarrying service for Sister Dear. On the 19th of this month, which is next week, Thursday, 19th, the Thursday, the 20th, Friday night, and the 21st, which is the Saturday night, and the 22nd, we will go to the house in Portmore. Amen? At Elsha. Elsha in Portmore. So, President, please bear this in mind. Pardons will join me with us and also the Amsterdam Assembly. It is a command from the Lord. The rest of the Holy Ghost will be to try your endeavor best to come out in the tarry to assist with this command. Amen? Remember last week we have announced that Sister Spence will be having a fasting and night service on the 6th of October. Just a reminder, please. Be reminded that Sister Spencer Spencer.